Hello everyone, welcome to K2025. We're in Hall 7 where, uh, 7, where the focus is on research, an important part of the K show. We're going to start the tour here at the stand of the IKT in Stuttgart. Ah, hello professor, thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Um, before we get started, maybe you could tell us some of uh, uh, an over, a brief overview of the specifics of your research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have no specifics because we work in plastics engineering everywhere. So, but maybe today here, what we show here is, um, yeah, how do we use plastics technology for mobility of the future? And here on this and this little vehicle, you see, I mean, you probably see this is a lightweight structure, of course, maybe made from fiber reinforced plastics, including electric drive, which electric drive, which has a specific, uh, yeah, the solution. An enabler was plastics. I show you maybe here in detail if, if if the camera has the time to follow us. Wonderful. Let's have a look. Hello, here. Come on, camera. Come on. <laughs> you see an electric drive. This is a quite normal drive, maybe for the let's say magnetic magnetic um, performance. You need holes in these metal pieces. Here you see that. There maybe there are holes, specific structure holes, and if you have too many holes, you need that for the magnetics. Yeah, you have um, the uh, revolutions per minute are too sl too low, so it would destroy the thing. And if you put plastics in it, it's special here. It's PPS, glass fiber reinforced, and including a very specifically etched surface structure, you get it up to 20,000 revolutions per minute. So plastic is an enabler for a very modern uh, electric drive here. And uh, this uh, uh, electric drive runs without rare earth metals, rare metals. And uh, this is very, uh, of course, uh, very good for Europe being independent from. Certainly a hot topic, yeah, very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, very important. So this is just one focus. Let's, what focus we have here. Of course we do, for industry we do also failure analysis a lot here. In this case it's for the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder mm -hmm. Foundation, right here. They have an artwork in Berlin. This is just, of course, just the 3D printed piece of artwork. This is much larger, it stands in, it's in Berlin, it belongs to the uh, Estee Lauder Foundation and we do failure analysis and help them restore it and renovate it. And in another case here in the background behind the camera, maybe we have to turn around a little bit and here you see, uh, uh, this is just a model of course of the Aqua Dome which is, was the largest vessel like, the largest vessel like um, aqua aquarium globally and it has been destroyed unfortunately to, about three years ago and we were the ones who did the expertise and helping them to find out what really happened why did it happen because nobody wants it happen again in the world i mean this is failure analysis but focus of research i showed you already lightweight things and so on, but recycling bioplastics these are the future uh, because europe wants to become independent from fossil resources so in the future we will have definitely much more recycling because we want to get rid of the oil-based plastics. Recycling, recycling, recycling plus bioplastics. All right. Well, I think you summed it up quite nicely there. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Great. Well, let's move on from the IKT stand Stuttgart here in Hall 7. Uh, as you can see behind us, there's a lot going on here. A lot of people interested in all the research institutions. Lots to see, lots of products, lots of innovations. We're moving on now to the Fraunhofer Institute. And we'll soon see what they have to offer. Very well-known institution here in Germany and in the industry, of course. We can't really underscore enough the importance of research in the industry. At K, it's not just about the products, but also the exchange between institutions and the industry. What? Okay, and here we are. Fraunhofer. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, before we get started, Hall 7, a lot of research institutions here. You have a really big stand, a lot on display. Why is the K show important for you? 
So for us, as one of the biggest research institutions, it's very important to be here because as applied researcher, we are always looking for companies, uh, for people to work together and really show and demonstrate our strength and our forces in the strong relationship between industry and us as a research institution. Great. So what can you tell us specifically? What are some of the innovations? What are the highlights here on the stand? So absolutely, you, you will see we have got a lot of um, material innovation here. On the other hand side, what you see here is that um, we show the system and the system view on the circular economy it, itself. So it looks like, like the past, but it's the future because you see here, we have got a lot of different chemical recycling tools and so on. It's all in here and shown and demonstrated. Great, yeah, it really is cool uh, display here. Now maybe we can hear from your perspective as a research institution. Why is this kind of show important for you? Why is this exchange between research and industry so important? What would you say? So the, um, the really deep work together is a very important topic because we get the ideas also from industry. So we have our own ideas and vision. But on the other hand side, mm. to be applied, we really have to look what industry needs, what industry wants. And this is what we really want to demonstrate here. So we have another product I can see. What can you tell us about that? So you see, we have got here different materials shown. On the one hand side, we've got granules. So it's PLA granules, a bio-based material. And we need this PLA for producing different kinds of material stuff. Like you see here foam, you see a very um, stiff material for the surface to have um, yeah, a new product, a child car seat, a mono material child car seat. On the other hand side, we can also use the different materials, not just for a child car seat, also for, for a hat, for driving bicycles. So you can use these materials, these different sections for all of different products also. So I'm actually in the market for a helmet. You mind, can I try that on real quick? Yes, it's no problem, please. Okay. I have a big head. Ooh, fits. Uh, how much? Uh, this is a question of a company we are licensing out, this uh, technologies and so on. So you cannot buy it, but perhaps we will find a partner here and you can buy it soon. Okay, I hope so. It is very comfortable, I have to say. Um, well, before we go, last question. Um, what do you hope for the K? You know, as a research institution, you have a different perspective uh, than a business or a company. What are you uh, hoping to achieve here at K this year? Yeah, we definitely, we definitely try to find partners along the value chain. So this is one of the very important topics also for circular e, e economy, to find the partners, uh, to really see how companies also can uh, fit together, uh, to realize new business models. This is our one of our core things, to really create these new circular value chains here. And it's a perfect place, the K, because everybody's here from the, from the polymer sector. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Make sure to stop by the Fraunhofer Institute. Hands on, a lot of products, lots to see, and very helpful uh, staff here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.